Can you see yourself working for somebody else? I never have. Can you see it? I'm used to, to having a company where um, the ideas that I have are, are something that I can easily pursue. So yeah. I think it'd be a, a tough transition. If you had stayed at Harvard a few more years, would this uh, computer revolution have uh, passed you by? Perhaps. Things move very quickly in the industry, and it was really the urgency to get out there and be the first one to, to put a, a basic on the microcomputer that caused me to drop out. You're called a genius, and I will... Well, no, I don't think that embarrassed you at all. <laughs> they call you a genius. Part of your genius is that you are a computer whiz, and the other is that you did have the, 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 the business acumen to, to turn it into a working company. Uh, is, are you a business genius, too? Well, I wouldn't say genius. Um, I enjoy working with the people, talking about what we're going to get done, getting real excited, making sure that the structure is there, that the ideas get, get measured properly, and, and really leading the company. That's exciting. At the age of 28, in a, a field of work world, burnout is common. Are you going to burn out before you're 30? No. How do you know? Well, the work we're doing is, it's not like, you know, we're doing the same thing all day long. Uh, we go into our offices and think up new programs. We get together in meetings. We go out and see end users. We talk to customers. There's so much variety, and, and there's always new things going on. Um, and I don't think there'll ever come a time when that, that would be boring. If you want to see a young Jeff Bezos doing one of his first ever interviews, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. And what, are your, what is your claim to fame? <laughs> I'm the founder of Amazon.com. Where did you get an idea for Amazon.com? Well, 